Hello everyone, my name is Michael and welcome to another episode in this Discord JS tutorial series. In this episode, we will see how we can create a bot and then listen to a simple command and respond to it. So yeah, let's see how we can do that. So first of all, let's see how we can create the actual bot. So to do that, first of all, click the link down in the description and you should be redirected to discord.com slash developer slash applications. And the first thing we have to do, we have to create a new application. So new application, then we will give it name. Let's give it a fun name. So let's say I keep the bugs away. So yeah, let's create it. Now what we have to do is go to this bot category in our settings. So let's do that. And then we will create a bot and then add the bot to this application. Yes, do it. And yeah, we just created our bot. So it's that simple. Next, what we have to do is install the bot in our server. So let's see how we can do that. Go to Auth2 and click URL generator. And here we will select bot. And that's it. So now we can copy this URL, visit it, and then basically invite the bot to our server. But before we do that, I would like to give it some permission. Now, in my case, I trust my bot as I will code it. So I'll give it administration permissions. So whenever I click copy and then I go here and visit that link, it will tell me to add it in a Discord server. So yeah, let's invite it to our server, to our test server. So I have created a server so we can test it too. And let's click continue. And then let's give it access. Now I have to verify myself and there we go. So that's it, we invited the bot using the custom URL it provides us. Again, you can change the scopes, the bot permissions, go to the bot, change the username, change the icon, and here you can also change the bot permissions from here. Now to control our bot, what we will use is discord.js, which is a package in where we can use in Node.js, and this allows us to interact with the Discord API, and basically we can also interact with our bot and do multiple other stuff, which I will show you in this series. Now let's go on code and see how we can code the bot to listen to commands. So I have created a folder and here I'll open the command line by typing here and typing CMD, or you can right click and click open in terminal. And if we go on terminal, and now what I'll do is create a new project using node which I'll leave the link down in the description so you can download node. And then we will do npm init-y. And this will create the package the JSON. And then we will do npm install discord.js does a save. And this will install the Discord package. So after we did that, we can open our code in an ID. So if you if you use Visual Studio Code, you can type code and then dot and it will open the folder in Visual Studio Code. And next we will create an index.js file. There we go. Now, first thing we need to do is require Discord like so. So we will import Discord. And then we have to create a client. So from our Discord, we will do const client. Client is basically our bot. So new disk client. And then we will log in to our client by doing client.login and here we will pass the token of our bot so let's see how we can find our token now the token was shown to us once we created the bot but in case you didn't got it then you can click reset token right here and it will give you a new token now i have two-factor authentication so i have to enter my six digit authentication code and there we go. So I got my token, so I'll copy it. And then inside a string, I'll copy paste my token like so. Now we need to create an event listener where client, once it's ready, it will let us know it's successfully logged in. So let's do that. So we will put client on ready. So that means once it's logged in, then it will call this callback and then Within this callback, we can say logged in as client.user.tag. So basically we will say logged in as I keep the bugs away. So basically the username of our bot. So yeah, now let's run our script to test it out. So to do that, 
go on your terminal and type node and then index.js which is the name of our file and then we'll click enter and the script will run and we got an error okay so this error is because we have to add our intents for the bot so here we can pass some parameters and the parameter we have to pass is the intents and this will be an array and here we'll pass our intents so our first intent is to use the discord dot intents dot flags and then dot guilds so first intent is to have access to the guilds command so anything with our text channels we need to have access to run some commands to those text channels so this is our first intent accessing the guilds and then the next intent is to access the guilds messages so something like that so discord.intents.flags.guilds messages now to keep it shorter what we can do is destructure client and intents from discord.js like so so we can do that and we can also destruct intents and then we can remove the discord dot so we can keep it shorter and cleaner there we go now let's run our script again and test it out and there we go so it says logged in as i keep the bags away hashtag and then the id of our bot now let's continue so to listen to messages and then respond to certain commands so a command is basically a message which the user sends now it doesn't have to be a command specifically we can respond to simple messages as well so to listen to messages we can do client and then on and then listen to messages like so and then we can pass a callback which our callback can take a message and then we can do certain things without message so first thing i would like to do is console.log.message and make sure it works so let's do that now this message is an object with multiple information but to get the text of that message all we have to do is dot content now you can console message itself and see what other information you can get and then you can utilize that information however you like so let's run our application again so every time you apply a change or your code you have to rerun your code so so the terminal runs the updated code so have that in mind so now let's go back on our discord let's go to our test server and then type something so we can do test now if we go back on our terminal you will see this message was console now if i type something else so for example test one two three four then again in, in my terminal it should output that message so test one two three four so now how do we respond to a certain message so to do that we can run an if statement and see if a message contains a certain string or is equal to a certain string and then if it is we can give it a response so let's see how we can do that so we can say if message dot content and then equals for example hello then we can respond by replying so we can say message dot reply and here we can pass our reply so let's test it and see if it works so again we have to rerun our code so let's go back on our discord and say hello and there we go so our bot responded to our message by saying hello now what if we don't want to reply to that message but just send a simple message so to do that instead of message.reply what we can do is say message.channel and then dot send and instead of replying to our message it will just send a message so let's rerun our script and test it so let's type hello again but as you see this time it didn't respond to our message but it just sent the message to this channel now i'll make videos on how to send messages to certain channels how we can listen to commands and all that kind of stuff in the next episode so yeah that's it for this video let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see next the code will be down in the description so you can use my code to test this out so all you have to do now is to replace this token with your own token also hit the like button as it helps the youtube algorithm a lot and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my future videos and yeah with that said see you in the next video